assembly will hear an address by His Excellency Ivaristo do Espirito Santo Carvalho, President of the Democratic Republic of Sao Tome and Principe. I request protocol to escort His Excellency. On behalf of the General Assembly, I have the honor to welcome to the United Nations His Excellency Ivaristo do Espirito Santo Carvalho, President of the Democratic Republic of Sao Tome and Principe, and to invite him to address the Assembly. Excelentíssimo senhor Honorable President of the 74th Session of the United Nations General Assembly, Honorable Secretary General of the United Nations, Honorable Heads of State and Government, Honorable Ministers of Foreign Affairs, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellencies, this 74th session of the general debate provides us with the opportunity to congratulate Professor Tijani Muhammad Bande on behalf of the Democratic Republic of São Tomé and Príncipe for his election as President we offer him our full support during the exercise of his mandate, which we hope will enable our organization to make progress in addressing the most pressing issues affecting our respective peoples and the planet as a whole. We also congratulate the outgoing president Maria Fernanda Espinosa Garces for her wisdom in conducting the work of the previous session. Furthermore, we take this opportunity to pay tribute to the Secretary General Antonio Guterres for his tireless efforts to strengthen the role of our organization in promoting peace, democracy, and the protection of human life worldwide, as well as combating poverty in all its forms towards sustainable development. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, heads of state and government, we welcome the theme chosen for this session galvanizing multilateral efforts for poverty eradication, quality education, climate action, and inclusion, because we believe in multilateralism as a means to solve the enormous and difficult problems facing the globe. Poverty is the greatest scourge of humanity and it is no coincidence that it appears as the first sustainable development goal. The eradication of it, in all its forms and dimensions, should be the first priority in the concert of nations, namely the United Nations. Poverty is a major cause of hunger, land degradation, unbridled exploitation of natural resources, armed conflict, population displacement, saturation of major urban centers, migratory flows from south to north with tragic consequences that we all know. 
It is in all of our interests to have societies in which peace, stability, progress, and social justice reign, which means that we must unite our efforts to find the best solutions for our countries and regions while safeguarding the specificities. Only then will migratory flows be stopped and in relation to the migratory flow in the south-north direction, there is an unjustifiable impasse. The destination countries must combine their efforts and coordinate refugee reception policies and adequate support for the countries of origin in order to counteract this sad phenomenon. We believe it is in the interest of all of us to have peaceful, equitable, and sustainable societies, which translates into the need to unite our efforts to find solutions not only to the refugee problem, but also to the various armed conflicts that unfortunately still continue to cloud various regions of the world. Likewise, it is advisable for our organization to create more binding mechanisms to ensure solidarity with the victims of war and terrorism and to create lasting solutions to old and new conflicts, notably the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, the Syrian conflict, the Libyan conflict, the deployments of terrorist groups in the Sahel and the actions of the terrorist groups El Shabaab in East Africa and Boko Haram in Central and West Africa. The situation of persistent political military instability in the Central African Republic greatly challenges and calls for all of us to undertake concerted efforts to silence the guns thereby enabling a negotiating solution to emerge through permanent dialogue with a view to ending the suffering of the Central African people. The Democratic Republic of São Tomé and Príncipe welcomes the positive evolution of the ongoing democratic consolidation process in the Republic of Guinea-Bissau, and encourages the bissau guinean political actors to continue on this path and ensure success in the presidential elections scheduled for next November. In the same vein, we hope that the general elections scheduled for next October in Mozambique will take place within normalcy, peace and harmony, in favor of the country's social and economic development process and the well-being of the Mozambican people. As regards the situation in the Sahara, we call on the parties to commit to the political process within the United Nations until its completion. In addition, we welcome Morocco's efforts to reach a political settlement of the Sahara regional dispute on the basis of the Moroccan Autonomy Initiative. Santo Tomé and Principi once again renews our support for the Cuban people and calls on the international community to, take, to make efforts to normalize relations between Cuba and the United States of America and lift the trade embargo thus allowing for their progress and development. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, heads of state and government, in addition to the consequences of violent extremism, the world faces other challenges, such as the devastating effects of climate change, which are serious obstacles to achieving the SDGs that we all committed to in 2015 in this very room. It is our conviction, therefore, 
that the United Nations must assume its true leadership role by joining efforts to combat climate change. Natural disasters occur on a larger and more intense scale, leading to the loss of life, especially in the less developed regions of our planet. There is no doubt that the global effort must continue under the auspices of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. And indeed, it must be a shared responsibility for all, as it is up to us all to safeguard future generations. Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General, ladies and gentlemen, heads of state and government, your excellencies, we deeply believe in our organization as the ideal vehicle to harmonize our world, respecting differences, cultures, models, and systems of government, but also to provide solutions to underpin cooperation and exchanges that generate wealth, prosperity, and lasting peace for all. Sustainable development has gained prominence in the debates of recent General Assembly sessions, clearly demonstrating our spirit of inclusion. But in order for this spirit of inclusion to become a reality, it is necessary for the reform of our organization to become a reality as well, in order for Africa to be given its rightful place and no longer be the only continent without a permanent seat on the Security Council. The Democratic Republic of São Tomé and Príncipe as a small island developing state, with all the constraints that such condition entails, pursues a policy adapted to our reality with respect for multicultural diversity and human rights. Without mineral resources, with an economy highly vulnerable to external shocks, our country has faced enormous challenges in achieving the SDGs but has been making efforts to reach the established goals. For such efforts to be effective, it is essential that we may count on the international community to provide the development financing mechanisms announced in some international forums. One cannot speak of perennial democratic achievements without sustained economic growth. In this respect, as, as you all know, Saint Tomé and Principi is preparing to graduate from the category of least developed countries to that of middle income countries in December 2024. This reflects a recognition of the efforts undertaken by our country and the progress made in key areas of sustainable development. However, our country will continue to face enormous challenges after graduation, and continued support from the international community will be indispensable. For us, this High Tribune is a unique opportunity to make a strong appeal to the international community, not only to accompany us in this arduous task of transition, but also to provide us with the necessary support for the full achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. Mr. President, Ladies and gentlemen, heads of state and government, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, access to development credit remains the only way to relaunch the global economy with the necessary conditions for risk mitigation, good governance, 
and the fight against illegal financial flows. The African continent reflects gaps in all indices of human development. However, Africa remains a continent of opportunity for all, with huge mineral resources, vast arable land, forests, rivers, and above all, a large mass of youth. As for our country, São Tomé and Príncipe, we are unequivocally committed within the international community to build a better world for all. Thank you for your attention. On behalf of the General Assembly, I wish to thank the President of the Democratic Republic of Sao Tome and Principi for the statement just made. May I request representatives to remain seated while we greet the Head of State.